Let us use a script now for Jira to fetch the user picker field, multi user picker field, uh, custom field uh, values. Now I'll show you the field first. So this is my field user picker, multiple user. I'm just using a, a non, a, a very uh, not creative name. And uh, in this particular field, we have right now three users. Now I already have a code and I'll show you the code in a, in a minute. So if, if you run this particular piece of code, it will give you this uh, list of uh, values in the, in the custom field. However, I want to write the code in a slightly different uh, manner. Now the code that I'm talking about is this one. This particular piece of code is not very different from what I shared earlier. In my previous code that you can find on my repository, I'm using a method called get custom field object by name, but that method is now deprecated and uh, you have to now use the get field objects, plural. And uh, as the name suggests, you will get uh, a list of custom fields. In our case, of course, we just have one field with the name user picker, multiple users. So we will get, uh, we, we, we can actually focus on just the first item in that particular list. And to get the value, you can use this uh, good old get custom field value method. Now this works great. However, what I normally do when I'm dealing with custom fields, I always try to convert the return of those uh, values based on what I expect. For example, if I'm dealing with usernames, I may want to convert it to application user because if I'm talking about, let us say this custom field value, which is of course a list of users, I can also do something like this, get user name, and this will work. There is nothing wrong, wrong with the code. If I, if I run this, it will just give me the usernames, hopefully, let me just wait for it to finish. So we have the usernames and it works great. However, IntelliJ is complaining about it because IntelliJ is not really aware of the return and uh, the return type. However, if I do something like uh, this, like I know the return is uh, a list, so I can typecast it to my array list and uh, I, I know that it, I know that it is application user, so I can uh, type in here application user. Now IntelliJ will not complain about get username, and apart from get username, you can uh, of course uh, do things like uh, maybe get key, which is uh, which is uh, slightly different. No, it is different from the username. So use user key is also important because uh, you this is of course unique, and uh, you may want to do something else with this user key. Now. The reason I convert this is also because uh, I may want to uh, do something with the user itself. And I can only do that when uh, I'm working with application user. Because previously, the code will work. But as a good practice, I think if you convert the return type, uh, the, the if you know that you will get a list of users, or if you get, let us say, dates, and uh, you want to do something further with that particular return value, uh, just convert it to the right type. Now, what I normally also do is, uh, whenever I'm working with custom field values, when I, when I, whenever I have to work with uh, these values that are returned by different fields, I usually add a check somewhere in my code. And based on the check, like if, the, if I know that the custom field type is uh, this, then maybe handle it in a separate, in a slightly different way. For example, in our case, we are working with the uh, multi-user picker. So if I show you the log statement where I'm printing the get custom field type, basically in the code, I can uh, type this and uh, it will return me this, uh, this particular line where I can see the type of my custom field is a multi-user CF type. Uh, now, this is important because based on this, I can add a check here that, in, you know, if the if the type is this, then uh, maybe use this, use this particular line to or these two lines to return or basically to convert the, the, the list 
into an application user list and then of course i can use those application user methods but if the return type is let us say a date or if the return is just a text or if the return is maybe a group for example it could be anything and if i have handled that return type separately in my code i can basically use switch i can use that single method that single method that i can uh, maybe reuse in my code very quickly so let us say if i have to write a script i don't really write it from scratch i look at my piece of code i uh, copy those two lines that are ap applicable or i just copy the whole method so if i am writing a piece of code where i am uh, let us say handling different types of custom fields so i just create one method where i uh, also add some additional checks in my method to look for the type of the key or uh, type of the field and then uh, return the value based on the type if you have a code which is of course very simple and you're always working with and dealing with the same type of field i think this will work um, i mean without worrying about the return type but if you are dealing with multiple fields and you know the fields are of different uh, types and the return could be a single value or a multiple value then uh, i recommend you to write some kind of a switch case in your uh, in your code to check the return value and that is all i wanted to talk about in this video i hope you enjoyed watching this video and you learned something new today thank you very much